Softland version 2024 has introduced the ability to add structural grid lines. These can be used to help properly align walls, posts, beams, and other structural items between different floors of the building. Structural grid lines are drawn by switching the floor plan to framing mode and selecting Draw Structural Grid. Horizontal grid lines are ordered numerically, while vertical grid lines are ordered alphabetically. Dimensions can be added between grid lines for accurate placement. Or existing grid lines can be copied for an even spacing. Once the structural grid lines have been laid out, the grid lines can be used to accurately position walls, posts, and beams. or any other items that you may draw, and they're easily located with the cursor snap enabled. Copies of the main floor plan can be used to create upper or lower floor plans. Once the upper and lower floor plans have been created, the existing structural grid lines will be automatically shown for any floor plan that is added to the model. If a structural grid line is not required to be shown on a floor plan, it can be made hidden to remove its visibility. Structural grid lines can also be edited on any floor plan to specify its length or to disable their labels on one end or the other. The grid lines can also have their lengths adjusted for an individual drawing. These edits to the structural grid lines on one drawing will not affect the grid lines on other drawings. When the model is viewed in 3D, structural grid lines will appear as partially transparent planes to further help aligning the structural elements between all floors. Once the floor plans are detailed out, generated annotated elevations will show the structural grid lines perpendicular to that view. Annotated cross-section views will also show perpendicular grid lines. Each annotated view organizes the structural grid lines in their own layer to control their visibility in the annotated views.